Space is pretty awesome when you think about it. And when you learn about it, it's even more amazing. Because did you know that there's a mysterious force millions of light years away which nobody can explain? That right now you're moving at several speeds at once, and that there's such a thing as a zombie star. And a vampire star too for that matter. So let's find out what the heck these things are in our list of 10 insane and awe-inspiring space facts. At number 10, Zombie and Vampire Stars. In the universe, there genuinely exists several types of stars which act like zombies and vampires. But don't worry. Rather than eating brains and refusing the garlic entree, all these stars do is come back from the dead and suck the life out of each other. Which sounds way better. I think. White dwarfs are the zombies, as these guys are basically old and dead until they create enormous IA supernovas. This event follows the white dwarf gorging on a neighboring star before proceeding to burst its insides out. And then there are blue stragglers, our vampire stars. These guys remain in the young hydrogen burning phase of their lifetimes longer than they should, even after their mums told them to get out and get a job. But instead of doing that, blue stragglers suck the hydrogen out of older nearby stars, enabling them to burn bluer, and hotter than their victims ever could. 9. Shooting stars are real We all know that when a bright light streaks across the sky, it's either an airplane, a UFO, or a shooting star, right? And we also know that the objects we call shooting stars are actually just meteors heating up as they zoom through Earth's atmosphere. But genuine shooting stars actually exist and they're zooming around the galaxy right now. These are called hypervelocity stars, and they occur when either a supermassive black hole encounters a binary star system, or when a supernova explosion in a multiple star system takes place. By the way, a supernova explosion which took place in an area near our own sun would be brighter than a hydrogen bomb detonated on your eyeballs. And that is my favorite XKCD comic fact of all time. Anyway. When this happens, the star is ejected through space at speeds of a million kilometers per hour. But even though these hypervelocity stars are pretty amazing, the truth is that everything is moving fast. 8. Several speeds at once If you're pulled over by a cop and asked how fast you were going, feel free to reply with 1,600 kilometers an hour. 72,000 kilometers an hour and 107,000 kilometers an hour all at the same time. And you won't be lying. But how is this possible? Well, to start with, the Earth spins on its axis at 1,600 kilometers an hour, give or take depending on how far north you live. But at the same time, our Earth is rotating around the Sun at 107,000 kilometers an hour. And on top of that, you got the Sun itself which plows through the universe at 72,000 kilometers an hour, dragging Earth, the Moon, Mars, and your fat mama with it. The Sun moves through space at 20 kilometers a second faster than the stars which surround it. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention we're moving inside the Milky Way galaxy too, orbiting that at speeds of 792,000 kilometers per hour, while the galaxy in turn moves at 2.1 million kilometers per hour towards the constellations of Leo and Virgo, and that leads us to another intriguing fact. In at number 7, The Great Attractor Somewhere towards the constellations of Leo and Virgo, astronomers have detected a gigantic concentration of mass which is pulling the Milky Way and many other galaxies in this direction. They have called this phenomenon The Great Attractor. And while we know it is located at the center of the La Nia Kea supercluster, around 200 million light years away, and that it's tens of thousands of times more massive than the Milky Way, we're not sure exactly what this gravitational anomaly is. But if I was to guess, I'd say Magnet World. At number 6, you can't draw it. 
Did you know it's practically impossible to draw a two-scale version of our solar system on a sheet of paper? In order to accurately represent the sizes of the planets and the distances involved, you'd need an area the size of a football field, which is around 110 meters long. And at this scale, the sun would sit on the goal line where it measures around 17 millimeters across, or the size of a dime. On this diagram, our former friend Pluto would be 72 meters away and to scale would be invisible without using a microscope. Whereas Mercury, Venus and Earth would be mere specks of sand laying somewhere between the goal line and 2 meters away. Mars lives 2.7 meters out at a size of just 0.08 millimeters. Jupiter is 10 meters away from the Sun measuring 1.5 centimeters. And you'll have a hard time pooping since Uranus is only 0.62 millimeters wide, laying as it does 34 meters away. Last up is the final official planet, Neptune, which is 0.6 millimeters wide and 55 meters away from the Sun. So, if your teacher ever asks you to draw the solar system to scale, just tell her to get you a microscope, reams of paper, and a couple tickets to the next Edmonton Eskimos game. At 5. The Universe's Youngest Old Guy Our Sun is around 4.5 billion years old, and it is expected to continue burning brightly for another 5 to 5.5 billion years. But compared to a red dwarf star's longevity, our backyard solar god is as durable as a housefly. This is a red dwarf star, and these chaps don't live for millions or billions of years. They live a lifetime measured in trillions. This is because red dwarfs develop very slowly due to the way hydrogen is balanced around the star instead of going directly to its core. And these fellas make up around three quarters of all the stars in the Milky Way including 20 of the nearest 30 stars to our own solar system, one of which is the closest, Proxima Centauri. And it is thought that because red dwarfs take so long to evolve, there are none in existence today which have reached their most advanced stages. Because the universe, which is estimated to have been formed 13.8 billion years ago, simply isn't old enough. So don't go flirting with it, or I will call the space cops, you cosmic pedophile. 4. The Silence of Death The Death Star. The Enterprise. Whatever spaceship Jesus rides. What do they all have in common? Well, when these ships and stations all exploded, as Jesus' spaceship famously did in Corinthians 13, these disasters would have been almost entirely silent. This is because sound doesn't travel through a vacuum, so you could witness a gigantic cataclysmic blast and still hear absolutely nothing. There are some sounds present in the form of electromagnetic waves, but the human ear is incapable of detecting these. Your loved one could be in a spacesuit dangling outside the window, and when their suit developed a hole and their head went pop, nothing. Not a zilch. Just a silent, horrible mess. Eh well, I didn't love her anyway. 3. Weird Space Tears What do you think happens if you start crying in space? Would your tears float around majestically allowing you to dab them one by one? Or would they flow out in one big stream, kind of like pee? Oh, I hope it's the last one. Sadly, the answer is neither. Because when astronaut Chris Hadfield mimicked space sobbing using plain water, he noticed that your tears merge into one giant ball of sadness which dangles out of your eye. And while eventually this will detach and float away, before that, you'll have to put up with a huge salty ball of liquid stinging your eyeballs. And that's why emo kids don't get to go to space. 2. One Small Step The last person on the moon was Eugene Andrew Cernan who took humanity's most recent steps there way back in December 1972. But his footprints are still visible today, as are those of Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and every other astronaut who touched down on the lunar surface. Since the moon has no atmosphere, there is no wind or water to attack its surface terrain, and even though it is constantly being bombarded with micrometeorites, 
The erosion caused by these is so slow that the footprints of our astronauts will remain visible for at least a hundred million years. And at number one, star power. The argument for humanity switching over to solar energy has been a long and drawn out one. But if more people knew this next fact, we might try to speed things up a little. Because in just one single hour, the sun bombards Earth with enough to power every device on the planet for an entire year. And yes, that even includes your mum's Thunder Vibe 8000. And it seems like the universe is giving us a little hint as to what we should be using to power our stuff, because stars power everything. And if you look up, you'll notice there's quite a few of these things knocking around. So, for our final entry, we're giving you a 2-4, as we take a quick look at the potential for life as well. It is estimated that there are 1 billion trillion stars in our universe. And if only 0.0000000001 of these were stable enough to support life, that'd still leave 10 billion stars left over. But this estimate is deemed to be a little conservative, because out of all the stars with planets in their habitable zones, scientists estimate there could be as many as 60 billion alien worlds out there. So you gotta imagine we'll find one eventually. Right? And that's our list. But if you'd rather think of things a little closer to home, then why not take a look at our recent video on the realities of life on Mars? Just in case you're one of the lucky ones who gets picked for the trip.